Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be showing you how I made this autonomous living tissue. Look at it just move in my hand. You can even cut pieces off of it and it doesn't just die, but the pieces keep wiggling like little worms. Look at these just wiggle around. This is so scary. So I've tried smashing these and they don't die, they keep wiggling around. So even though these look like they're alive, they're actually not. The way they're moving is through something called swelling induced snapping motion. And they're made from polydimethylsiloxane and a little bit of hexane. So let me show you how I made these and how they're actually moving like this. So in order to do this, you need some really thin polydimethylsiloxane. That's abbreviated PDMS. PDMS is a polymer of silicone. It's almost completely inert, non-toxic, non-flammable. It's used in a lot of applications. So this is just gonna start the polymerization process. You mix this around a 12 to one ratio. Then once you mix those two together, just mix it up and it's gonna start to polymerize pretty quickly within about a half hour now. But what I wanna do is I wanna make this as thin as possible. So I'm gonna pour some in this cup here and then I'm just gonna turn it sideways. I'm gonna get it all along the outside of the cup. And then I'm gonna turn the cup upside down so that it makes this really thin skin along the edge of the cup, along the outside of the cup. And then I'll also just pour some on here as well. So this is just some Teflon that I'll easily unstick from. So once you've spread your PDMS on here and let it polymerize, then you can peel off your sheet of PDMS. There we go. And then you can see this PDMS that comes from the outside of the cup, so it's much thinner. Now watch what happens when I pour hexane on it. The reason this is happening is because hexane is actually attracted to the PDMS bonds. And so it can actually absorb into the polymer matrix and it expands the matrix. So you get a huge increase in volume. You can see this PDMS that I ground up in little pieces and then pour hexane on it. The volume increases. This is the same thing that happens when you pour water on super absorbent polymers like Orbeez. So all you do to make the worms is take the thin strips of PDMS, drop it in the hexane, and then wait for it to absorb. It only takes a few seconds because it's a really thin strip. And then you just get it out and let the hexane start to evaporate from it. And as it evaporates from it, the volume of the PDMS changes slightly. And because it's evaporating unevenly from the surface of the PDMS, it causes the PDMS to buckle. So in the places where there's more evaporation, it wants to scrunch together, and where there's less evaporation, it wants to spread out. So there's continuous random buckling. So with this setup, you can generate efficient, self-repeating locomotion. The snapping actually continues for a while. Because of the uneven evaporation of the hexane, the surface is continually changing and snapping back and forth. Scientists have actually studied how to use this autonomous snapping. In fact, it can be controlled pretty well. You can even make little discs of the PDMS jump up different levels just by evaporation of hexane. This type of snapping motion is actually used a lot in nature, and it's a way that animals can move really fast, faster than you can move with just muscle alone. For example, this type of snapping motion is how Venus flytraps work and grasshoppers and even trap jaw ants. So scientists are really interested in using this type of mechanism with the PDMS and hexane to make increasingly fast robots that are really small. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And check out theactionlab.com if you haven't seen my experiment boxes for sale. They're not going to be for sale for long, so if you haven't got yours yet, check it out now. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.